New at 5 happening right now. Police are searching for a suspect in a deadly shooting this morning on Atkins Drive in North Huntsville. The name of the victim hasn't been released, but we do know the man died at Huntsville Hospital this afternoon. Way 31 Sierra Phillips was there as everything unfolded. Now, in the last 15 minutes, I checked in with Huntsville police. They tell me they're still looking for that suspect. Now, just a few hours ago, police officers and SWAT cleared the scene here on Atkins Drive, and I talked to some shocked neighbors about what they saw here today. It's very surprising. Daryl Hollingsworth pulled into the neighborhood at around 10:30 Sunday morning, just 30 minutes after police got a call that someone was shot. When I pulled in, there was a lot of people out in the street. You know, obvious that something was going on. At the time, this was just a shooting investigation, but hours later, we learned the victim died at Huntsville Hospital. That makes this the second murder in Huntsville in just 24 hours. Something Huntsville police say is rare. And we can't say it has not happened before, but it, it is. Uh, it's not something that happens frequently. Huntsville Police SWAT and the incident response team spent hours here on Atkins Drive questioning people as well as making sure the suspect wasn't hiding out in one of these houses. I said, man, there's a lot of, a lot of officers in the neighborhood today, you know. They made at least one arrest here on Atkins today, but police say the man you're looking at right now is not the suspect, but was yelling at people on scene. Hollingsworth watched it happen. He was basically verbally saying something to those guys, and then he walked away. Now, now police say they do have a specific suspect in mind, but the name of that suspect or the victim have not been released just yet. Reporting live in Huntsville, Sierra Phillips, Way 31 News. Thanks, Sierra. This is the second deadly shooting in Huntsville just this weekend. Huntsville police say they are currently. There are currently rather no updates in yesterday's shooting at the Allure Martini Bar and Grill on Country Club Avenue. Justin Wary is still being held in the Madison County Jail with no bond after police say he shot and killed 18-year-old Josiah Sanderson early Saturday morning.